Okay, uh, so now we have collected uh, several tweets, and you can see that by using MongoDB, so the data is easy in. So when we connect this to our uh, MongoDB database, um, so from the social media, so it's very easy because you don't need to uh, define the structures. And so um, basically you can have any type of the data that uh, assign my struct data into MongoDB. However, so when you want making queries, so that will be a little bit tricky. Okay, uh, so let's see. Uh, the data that we injected. So the data we injected are each single tweets that in a JSON format. Okay, so here this is one example. So this is a, a tweet that we can see it has um, sent out by this user. That is a text message. It has a URL. It has an image. Okay, and also you can see that number of favorites and also number of retweets that this tweet has been uh, received. And if we look at the, the JSON data, we can see of each single tweet is saved at a JSON format, in the JSON data. So we know that the data being created, okay, and this is the time zone. The ID of the tweet, so each single tweet has a unique ID, and also the ID in a string format. And this is a text, so text key contains uh, the, the message of the tweet. We also have the other keys, like for example, for example, the user key will be a nested dictionary that contains the user information. And the entity key contains, is also a nested dictionary or nested JSON document that contains like hashtags uh, or URLs, images that those tweets contain. So this is a URL that uh, has more a detailed description about the tweet object. I think the best way to see the tweets that you collected is just go to the MongoDB uh, atlas, and you can see here uh, within my demo database, I have the tweet collection that was created uh, during the lecture. And you can see here we have the size, so I have 10 megabyte tweets, which is like uh, 2,000 tweets that have been created. And here you can see that for each single tweet, we do have the object ID, which is in MongoDB, the time, the IDs of the tweet, and also text, and also other information. For example, the user information is a user object, where we can see the user ID, user name, a screen name, and also the description, etc. So that is a nested object. And we can see that this tweet also has a retweets. Okay, so that means that this tweet is uh, responding to another single tweet. Uh, some tweets also contain the coordination or the place so that when you enable the um, geocoding, uh, when you send out tweets, so some tweets will have the location where the tweet is being sent out. We can also see that we have a, a number two that's been coded, number of times that's been coded, replied, retweets and also favorites. And also if the tweet has some other entities like hashtags, in this case it does not have hashtag, URLs, and also mentioned users. So mentioned user is another nested um, object so where we have all the mentioned users, the username and also user ID. Okay. And also the other information like what is a language. Um, to view the tweets that in Python or in Notebook, so there are two ways. Uh, we can use either pprint or we can use pandas. So for example, let's first, let's see how many tweets we have collected. So let's say we, we don't, uh, if we don't want to check from Atlas, we can also do that in Python. So we can say tweet collection dot estimated document count will return the number of tweets. And also if we have a cursor that say distinct user IDs, and we print the length of that user cursor. User cursor, we all know that number of unique users from the collective tweets. So let's run that. You can see we have almost 2,000 tweets that are the same number that we saw earlier on Atlas. Uh, we can also create an index. So here we can create a text index. So that is the special index that is built on the text key. 
so that we can do a full text search. So let's create that index. So now let's we, we can make some queries. So you can see here, inserting data is pretty simple. However, making queries, so this is a syntax of making queries in MongoDB. Um, you can see it's a little bit uh, complicated comparing to SQL. So that is a kind of the uh, cost. So it, you want flexible data structure. Uh, so then you have his uh, cost that we want making queries. So next week, we are talking more about how to make queries. So here, let, let's just try this one. So here we're going to search on this text key because we have this uh, index being created. Specifically, we are looking for the tweets that contain the word vote. Okay, remember we, collect, we collected tweets that containing keywords of election. And from those tweets, we want to search the tweets that continue vote. So let's write. So now this tweet cursor contains a bunch of tweets um, that contain the, the word of vote. So now we can use a, a for loop so that for this cursor, we can print all the tweets. So uh, let's first, let's, let's use pprint, okay? Uh, so, Let's use pprint. So I just uncomment pprint. I comment the other two lines. Um, I'm not sure why this is red. Uh, okay. So probably I have additional uh, indentations. So now let's write. So pay, pay attention here. So we're only looking for the top 10 tweets. Okay. So now let's use pprint. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, so now you can see here uh, we have we printed out the entire dictionary, entire JSON document. Okay, so that is the same as we saw um, on Atlas. Okay, so you can see that is the first tweet ID, etc. Okay, and second one. Okay, so yeah, so that's 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 kind of hard to tell. So. Um, remember that every time when we treat load JSON into Python, we can treat JSON as a document. So let's comment out this line. And let's say that we just want the name. So we say document dot user, the user key. And also in that user key, we just want the name key, the value of the name key. So that will give us a username. And also we also want to print a text. So that is document text key. So that will give us a text. So before we run that, let's recreate the cursor. Okay, and so there is unexpected indentation. Um, okay, and I do have some. Okay, uh, so now let me run it. Okay, so now we just see that. Okay, so here we only see the usernames and also the text. Okay, so instead of using pprint, so if you want specific values, you can call them specific values by using their keys. Again, treat the JSON document as a dictionary once that is loaded into Python. Okay, so that's the first way. And the second way is that we can also load the result into uh, tenders. So let's say, again, we create this cursor. So we're also searching for uh, tweets containing both. So we can pass that result in, but convert that as a list, and we can pass that result into pandas .date frame. Okay, so now let's run it. So you can see here we have all the results as the tables. Uh, however, we only have the result from the top level keys, so we don't have the result from those nested uh, documents. Okay, so for example. Uh, the quoted status is a nested one, so we were not able to see that details. Okay, and similarly, you can also uh, do some analysis. For example, um, if you want to see the the how the favorite count look like, so you can create a histogram. Okay, and you will see that how many tweets that uh, you can see. We do have 
few TC have received um, a lot of favorite, and also we see that most of the tweets that they don't have a lot of favorite. Okay.